Hey everyone, this is Lone, and I'm back with another episode of Boku no Hero Academia. But before I jump right into this and talk about possible spoilers, here's an artist promotion right here. Please be sure to check out all this. Links in the description box below. We also find links to this video. And this is go. Oh man, this is gonna be really awesome to see how they gonna fight against the teachers. I mean, we so far got to see Kirishima and Sado versus Cementos, which obviously was a not so good uh, good deal there, and uh, they're. Obviously, I mean, obvi it was obvious the the way they did fight was it didn't work. Front a frontal assault against Cementos in a city. It's like trying to s attack a whale with a spoon, and thinking like you're gonna kill that motherfucker with this. If you are not Chuck Norris, you won't kill the whale with a spoon. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna be like the whale like. You, he, he won't even notice you. Okay, Cementos do notice him, but instead, I, I wonder how to defeat Cementos. I mean, obviously, as we could see, he did, I think he did make that first wall just to show that that is, is his range. That is how far he can reach. Maybe he can reach even further. I don't know that, but I think he did that like, okay, here is how far my power reach. What you gonna do about this information? They didn't do anything with it. They rushed right forward and that didn't go well. <laughs> so I wonder if I was gonna decide to fight Cementos. Obviously now I don't know what kind of quirk I would have. So it would be kind of hard to decide. But um, I think the best way would be of course to lay low. Because I don't I don't think he have any way to, like that he can feel someone go in the cement. He can hear through the cement or see through the cement. I don't think he can do that. I hope. I, then again, he looks like a cinder block himself. So what do I know? But um, I think that would be the best in getting close. Because I don't know if close combat might be his weakness. Then again, I usually am wrong anyways. And now we're gonna see next episode Sue and Tokoyomi fighting Ectoplasma Guy. That's gonna be interesting. I'm actually very curious how that's gonna be like. And uh, man, but man, seriously, it doesn't matter how many times I see this. Every time I hear in the mu the music in this, uh, probably this is probably one of the best music in the anime in an anime I heard in a very long time, because they have been very spot on with it. That it's going and growing with the conversation. That like. I mean, it feels into the bones. And I'm really curious to see more of this. And very soon I'm done with this. I have four episodes left. And uh, season two is over for me. But from my understanding, season three will start almost pretty much as I'm done with this. And I will jump right away to season three as well. So that's going to continue with Boku no Hero Academia. And uh, yeah. It's going to be real hype to watch this and see more of this. And of course, I will have a couple of other Boku no Hero Academia videos that is not reactions, but one video, of course, which I will make my favorite characters, uh, Metopolis, so to speak, as well, who I think is the strongest. And another video where I will talk about some random OCs I actually made for Boku no Hero Academia. A bit more elaborated about this, so. But yes, I will be back with more My Hero Academia very soon, of course. So thank you everyone for watching so far. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and like for more. It means so much to me. See you later on. Have a...